Hello everyone, I'm John, and in this video, I will show you how to create a Gantt chart in Excel. Click on the Add New Gantt Chart button. This will bring up the Add Project Details window. Type in the project name. You also have to enter the worksheet name. You can name it anything, like, for example, just Plan. Then enter the project lead. You can enter the project manager's name or the name of the person who will be responsible for the overall execution of the project. Select the base duration, days or hours. You can select days if you are setting the task duration in days or select hours if you are setting the task duration in hours. Gantt Excel also doubles up as an excellent budget and costs planner. So you can enable costs in your project if you want to track budget and task costs or turn it off altogether. For now, I'm going to leave this turned on. I'm going to enter the estimated budget, let's say for example, 250,000 US dollars and also enter the same in the baseline field as well. Click the OK button when done. As you can see, a new Gantt chart is instantly created and the Gantt menu in the Excel ribbon is now active. The Project Details section includes all the important details of the project, including the project name, project lead, and the financial components of the project. This is the workspace to add all tasks and milestones in your project. The section to the right is the Timeline section. The timeline will automatically update when you add tasks, change duration, or change the calendar views. By default, a new task has been created. The start date, which is also known as the estimated start date, is set to today's date. The default duration of the task is set to 10 days. The finish date, which is also known as the estimated end date, is automatically calculated based on the start date plus duration, while accounting for workdays and holidays. Tasks are the basic unit of action in Gantt Excel. You can create tasks, assign them to others or yourself, set costs and dates for tracking, and add notes for context. There are many ways you can add tasks, so I'm going to modify this default task and type in the task name. Say, for example, architectural design. Now the first method is to click the task placeholder cell where it reads, type here to add a new task. Click on the add task button in the Gantt menu. Type in the task name. The start date is set to today by default. Click the OK button when done. The task is added to the Gantt chart with the default duration set to one day. The second method to add a task is to right click and select the Add Task option from the context menu. Type in the task name and also let's add a few task details. Let's set the estimated start date to tomorrow. The date picker automatically shows up. Select the date and click the Select button. I'm going to change the duration to three days and the estimated end date is calculated automatically. I'm also going to click the Copy from Estimated button to copy the same dates into the baseline dates as well. Let's set the estimated cost to 2000 US dollars. Click on OK when done. The third method to add a task is to just double click the task placeholder cell where it reads, Type here to add a new task. The task form opens up. In this case, let me make this task dependent on the previous task. Do not worry about dependencies for now. Lastly, the fourth and easiest method to add a task is to type in the task placeholder cell, which reads, Type here to add a new task. I'm going to type, Decide date and venue to sign agreement and hit the Enter key on the keyboard. This action will create a task and set the start and finish dates automatically. Click on the Add Milestone button in the Gantt menu. The Add Milestone Details window opens up. Let's type in the milestone name. The estimated start date is set to today. I'm going to change the estimated start date and set it to 31st July 2020. Click the OK button when done. You can see that a new milestone is added with a default duration of one day. 
the orange milestone marker shows up in the calendar timeline. I will show you how you can set parent and child relationships for tasks and milestones. You can set a child task with just a click of a button. Select the task that you want to set as a child and click Make Child button in the Gantt menu. This will set the task as a child task, and the task above it will be set automatically as a parent task. The child task is indented under the parent task. The parent task is automatically formatted in bold. The parent task is also shown as a two-sided arrow shape in the timeline. You will notice this clearly when I set the task duration of this child task to five days. There's another way to create a child task. Right-click the task and select the Make Task Child option in the context menu. This will set this task as a child task of architectural design. I'm going to go further. I will make this task a child task of Create Draft of Architecture. This last method, and one of the easiest, is to use the shortcut key, Alt plus right arrow. When I use this shortcut key, the task is now set as a child of a child task. Please note that the work break structure is recalculated. Gantt Excel uses the standard hierarchical groupings. By convention, we use numbers and decimal points to indicate the level of the task. Moving ahead, let's set the next two tasks as child tasks and do the same for the milestone as well. Let's now talk about parent-child roll-up calculations, date changes, percent complete changes, and cost calculations roll up from child tasks to parent tasks. Let me show you an example. I will double-click task 1.1.1's start date and set it to 21st July. I will also modify the milestone date to 5th August. You will now notice that the start and end dates of the parent task has been recalculated. The same roll-up calculations work for percent complete and costs. Let me randomly set the task percent complete for a few tasks to 100%, 50%, and 25%, and you will notice that the percent complete for the parent task has updated from 0% to 44%. When you set parent and child tasks, you are essentially setting up the work breakdown structure. The WBS defines all the tasks a project needs to accomplish, organized into multiple levels, and displayed graphically. Let me add a few more tasks to complete this Gantt chart and set the parent and child tasks as well. And finally, the milestone for this construction project, move in with family. Now that we have added all the tasks and milestones, Let's create the dependencies between the tasks. You can watch our detailed video on how to set task dependencies. I will add the link to the description below. Let's set the dependencies for a few tasks. But before we begin, I'm going to click on the Settings button in the Gantt menu and turn on the Show Connectors option. This will show the dependency arrows in the timeline. As you can see, we already have set a Finish to Start task dependency between these two tasks. This means, as soon as we finish preparing the construction documents, we can start the task of drafting an agreement to the architectural plan. I am going to double-click this task, decide date and venue to sign agreement to open the task detail form. In the dependencies section, I will set the predecessor task as agreement to architectural plan. The dependency type is going to default to Finish to Start. Finish to Start is considered a natural dependency and is the most used type of dependency in project management. In this case, it means that only after the task Agreement to Architectural Plan is finished, only then can we decide the date and venue to sign the agreement. Let us set a few more task dependencies. Gantt Excel allows you to set a dependency for a milestone as well. Only after we decide the date and venue can we sign the agreement with the client. The excavation can start after signing the agreement with the client. But in this case, let me add a lag of two days. This means we will wait for two days after signing the agreement to start the excavation. We can start 
pouring concrete after the excavation task is complete. For the level concrete task, let's set the pour concrete as the predecessor task. But let's change the dependency type to start to start. This means leveling the concrete can start simultaneously as soon as we start pouring concrete. At this point, let me go ahead and set task dependencies for the rest of the tasks. The amazing thing about task dependencies is it is like setting up automation for auto scheduling. Any date or duration changes you make to a predecessor task will update the successor task dates instantly. I will demonstrate this by making a change to the task duration for the excavation task. Let's say the contractor decided that we need three days for the excavation instead of one. As you can see, the entire plan updated in milliseconds, and we didn't have to manually change the start date for each successor task. I will show you one more example by changing the start date of the first task. Let's say the weather forecast for July is heavy rain, so we want to start the project by the second week of August instead. Let's set this to 10th August. Instantly, Gantt Excel has recalculated all the task dates and pushed the project plan to start from 10th August. I'm going to click on the Scroll to Start button in the Gantt menu to move the timeline to the start of the project. Awesome! Let me show the Today Indicator line in the Timeline menu by clicking on the Settings button and turning it on here. We are almost done. At this stage, I would like to add resources and assign task owners to each task. Click on the Resources button in the Gantt menu to add resources, set workdays, and holidays. I have created a detailed video on how to add resources and assign resources to tasks. Please check for the link in the description below. At the organization level, let me set Saturday as a working day and set 21st August as a company holiday. I'm going to click Save, and then the Close and Refresh Gantt Chart button. This action will set Saturdays as working days, and 21st August is set as a holiday. The dates are recalculated instantly, and the timeline has been redrawn. OK, going back to Resources, let me add a few resources. Also, let me set Saturday as a work off day for Adam. Time to assign resources to tasks. You can double click the resource cell to assign task owners. I can also set the priority for tasks. Let me set the excavation task as high priority. I will resize the column size for the task name and the resource column. GAN Excel also doubles up as an excellent budget and costs planner. So let me unhide the cost column and enter the estimated cost for these tasks. I'm going to randomly put in some numbers. Ah, I see that the estimated costs is now 398,000, but the estimated budget keyed in while creating the project was set to 250,000. I can edit the project details and the budget by just clicking on the project name. Let me set the estimated budget to 400,000. Cool. Click on the Setup Timeline button in the Gantt chart. I'm going to extend the timeline to 20th August and click the Update Timeline button. As you can see, we have fit in one more calendar week. Let me also randomly increase the duration so that the timeline Gantt bars show more prominently. Perfect. OK, now I'm going to show you how you can change the colors for the timeline bars. This can be an aesthetic thing, or each color could mean something in your project plan. Double click the task to set the individual taskbar colors. You can also change the overall theme by clicking on Settings and change the theme by selecting one of the themes or you can set your own colors under the custom theme. Let me quickly set the rest of the colors as well to create a colorful timeline. 
I will create a detailed video next week on how you can customize your Gantt chart with colors and post the link in the description below. Beautiful! There is one more feature that everyone loves in Gantt Excel, and this is to show text in the Gantt bars. You can choose to show the task name or task costs. At the end of the day, you can choose to show the right amount of detail with the click of a button. Please note that you can choose to view the timeline in seven calendar views, and you can switch views with a single click. Gantt Excel has a lot of features, and we have barely skimmed the surface. However, this video is to show you how quickly you can make a Gantt chart in Gantt Excel. I hope you find this tutorial informative and useful. So go ahead, download Gantt Excel, and create a project timeline that will impress your colleagues and clients. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions or feature requests, please share them in the comments below. Kindly like and share this video. Also, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you.